Hey guys, this is the last video in this series and here we're going to learn how to generate a histogram plot from Pandas data frames or from a series. So in the last video we spoke about how we can generate you know, the line plots and the bar plots and we saw how we can generate stacked bar plots as well. Um, quite interesting stuff and one thing I wanted to add to that is if I do um, D, uh, D, D, F, I'm sorry, this is my data frame dot plot dot and I do tab you notice I can have you know several types of plot, plots okay I can have an area plot, a bar plot, bar, bar h plot, you know box plot, density plot and histogram and you know KDE, line plot, pi and scatter and all, all kind of that okay so you can experiment with those you can have a scatter plot uh, if you wish uh, have a look at the documentation you pass it x and y and it should generate a, a, a scatter plot, so to plot, you know, x versus y. Okay, um, just read the documentation and things should be fine. And in this video, we wanted to have a look at how we can generate a um, histogram plot. So um, let's have a look at, for example, score one value. As if I copy that, I'm going to paste that. Not many values, like we only have nine values, and mainly they're between. 34 and what 61 so not really a large number of values so the histogram won't look nice but this is just to you know demonstrate that so when you read one column it's a panda series and then in panda series we have this histogram method to generate a histogram we can have you know draw histogram of the data frame series using the matplotlib uh, pi lab so it's based on matplotlib as we mentioned in the last video and then we can pass it some uh, some va um, some sorry values to plot so you know which column to plot in the data f in the in the, um, in the um, you know data frame if we access of course via data frame but here we're accessing it immediately from the column itself okay so dot hist from the column itself and we can specify the fixed size and the number of bins is 10 by default and so on and so forth here i'm only um, saying bins equal you know if it's 15 let's do it for example nine bins and then i'm saving it into a, a hist underscore plot object and then here just setting title setting you know x label and y label and if i run that let me just hide this if i run that then we get the histogram plot as you can see here okay this is the histogram plot we have just generated. We can play about with the number of bins, um, or we can, you know, have a look at some other uh, options that we want to have, like maybe specify the fix size uh, and uh, you know display the grid. It's true by default. I can change that to false if I wanted, you know, just to play about with the with the parameters and see so the grid is going to disappear and there you go no grid okay back to true or in fact remove it because it's true by default okay so i'm going to stop here thank you very very much for watching i hope you found this um series of videos uh, useful keep uh, tuned i will add more videos as you know time passes on of course according to my availability okay if my family and my little daughters and son of course give me time to do that okay i'm gonna stop here and thanks again and see you next time